Hi everyone, welcome to our presentation in online education, teaching in a time of change conference. This is Noah Mahmoud and my colleague Gamal Mohammed. We are from Toronto, Canada. And today our presentation is about the remote delivery of design studio implementation of COVID-19 on design and architecture education pedagogy. In the introductions, in the most architectural school design studios, the core courses of the, these programs have been conducted with the traditional studio based with the face-to-face -face feedback between the professors and the student. This is conducted through the working closely with the student, guiding and monitoring them face-to-face. -face. However, several architecture and design programs have another alternative, which is online, to award the professional degrees to accommodate the student with different life responsibilities, work commitment, physical barriers, and even the location. Getting the professional degree graduate and undergraduate created the new opportunity for the, such students who are not able to obtain a traditional on-campus education. With the numbers uh, of uh, successful stories for online graduate in the design and architecture, a lot of the practitioners and scholars question the validity of the credential certificate earned. Others reject it and believe that design specialist studios cannot be taught online, arguing that professional field required to present of the students in the studio's classrooms within certain times during the term of study. Due to the COVID-19, the most of the universities and colleges worldwide converted their programs into remote delivery methods, including Design Studio. This required re-evaluating the credibility of the remote delivery of the Design Studio educational process. This presentation aims to explore the teaching studio before and after COVID-19 with focus on the physiological impact on students and faculty and also the impact of the, on the design of post-secondary curriculum and the course schedules. In this presentation, we will discuss multi-means of classes, engagement, visual representations, actions and expression. To accomplish that, this presentation will have a research methodology which is critically uh, which is about the critical examination of literature review and case study analysis, open analysis and discussion. This presentation will set the some recommendations for the new approach of teaching design studio remotely and its professional and physiological impact on design and architecture students and faculty. Architecture design education face-to-face -face via the online education. The architecture curriculum and most other design programs are traditionally taught in a face-to-face -face mode. Courses are usually set into certain categories like theory-based courses, technical classes or hand-on industry courses, visual communication and digital skills, and the design studios that are the core of creative and applied arts education. These design studios in particular have been built to open the direct interaction where professors monitor, guide, and they give feedback to the student face-to-face -face over a certain amount of in-class hours. These methods have proven its success and has become the accepted framework for, of design uh, pedagogy. However, in today, fast-paced world and with the vast amount of technology, it's essential to re-examine the traditional studio education to cope up with the new challenges worldwide. The pandemic has caused many changes to take the place for the two key partners of on-campus architecture studies from the students and faculty who had to shift to the online remote synchronous delivery. And here we can see the in-class design studio face-to-face -face method, which you can set all students can set together and um, apply for their uh, projects, even if they are using the computer, but they are in class to have your feedback. And here is the, in, in the left photos, you can see 
uh, their professor you can sit with them give them the feedback guide them for the next step of the project for the architecture online courses it's offered by universities are synchronized with on-campus courses so the curriculum contents is designed to accommodate both delivery streams thus accounting for the modifications needed to transform the delivery or delivered material to be taught by two different platforms students usually take some of on campus and some online courses the architecture design students who used to take on campus courses are also already familiar with the courses launched online via the platform model this is also applied to the faculty where the most of them are experienced in teaching on both platforms online and on campus as well for the next session we will explore the modification and implementation of remote learning for the main architecture programs stream that are core programs related to the studio visual communications specialized computers based on the software synchronous remote delivery design studios and technical classes as a response of the consequences of the uncertain situation of the COVID-19 and physical distance between human to human or between human and objects are immediate impact on both teaching formats of higher education industry on campus and the online classes a, a, a profound uh, observation along with the student survey have been conducted throughout the previous year to address accurately the new learning barriers that were not existing before and are noticed for the online classes in the architecture design studies. Studying these barriers helps to formulate the necessary questions of this situation. We are not in a rush to a final conclusion about the best teaching methods for these symptoms, which is believed is still premature and the main object now to guide us for the rational response as an advanced step for the further research to investigate for the ideal technical approach. Remote synchronous delivery for design education. Design studies in specific are an integral part of architecture education. This is discussed based on the qualitative analysis and observation of offering remote synchronous delivery, which is RSD, for almost four terms now. And this analysis gained within four aspects. The first one is student and faculty readiness, delivery methods and approaches, student engagement and expression, and evaluation and assessment methods. The first factor is faculty and student readiness. The faculty and the student had to be prepared for this new RSD method, which is related to the aspects such as softwares and technology, course materials, work zone for the class meeting and further and future preparation. In the design studio, uh, studios in particular, the softwares and technology could be considered as a biggest factor for both faculty and students. Having the necessary softwares, programs, personal home computer, good Wi-Fi, and good access to the internet. The workplaces as well is considered as an important fact, aspect or factor can affect the, uh, this readiness for the both students and faculty need to be area within their homes to listen to the lectures, preparation, discussions, and without any uh, distractions uh, from the noise, background distractions as well. Class preparation for faculty change it to be providing students with the schedule for the upcoming live session, live class sessions as well. Provide multiply means of representation. This can be done by different uh, strategies. First, ensuring the accessibility of the course materials and also the ability of the studio instructor to present the main course concept in more than one format the careful selections of in-class learning activities that could emphasize comprehension and as an assistive factor 
that promotes variety of ways of presentation uh, and interactive strategy to gain uh, to gauge the students understanding of course concepts in this regard there are this strategy can be implemented through the first is preparation by offering ways of customizing the display of information alternatives or for uh, auditory information and alternatives for the visual information as well second is through the language samples by clarifying clarifying the vocabulary symbols and structures supporting decoding of texts promote understanding across language and illustrating through the multiply media third is through the comprehension by activations or supply background knowledge highlighting patterns guiding information processing and visualizations and maximizing the transfer and generalization Second factor is delivery methods and approaches. Delivery methods for design studios, including the Zoom, PowerPoint, while activities including discussions, design activities, and as assignments. Uh, this sharing for the faculty computer screen in Zoom for the lectures and assignments was necessary for clear delivery of the course materials. The PowerPoint was used to provide added resources to support the units as well and for all the examples of the zoom uh, sharing for the assignments and comments and lectures and everything this will be uh, also example of the previous students work was also completed through the zoom delivery method for the lectures designed for the digital technical courses like CAD computer added design, this taught usually on, on campus on the labs, but however, in the RSD digital technical courses, we can offer the same creation of the sharing information about this course for the digital creation with the professors and peers and the students. The third factor, which is student engagement and expression, this can be achieved by incorporating variety of teaching modes and style. Before on on-campus learning, we have different in-class activities that we can show the interaction between the students and professors, students and peers, and collaboration for whole classes. But now to again the listeners mood and self detonation feeling, which can be you uh, attack the online classes, uh, the online class audience, we have different strategies that we can prevent this laziness of these classes the first is recruiting interest by optimizing value and automatically uh, and minimizing the threats and distractions the second is sustained efforts by increasing mastery oriented feedback and the third one is the self regulations by developing the self assessment and reflections to have our best method for RSD, we have to develop these three strategies to have a good RSD methods using during this uh, pandemic. Examples for the, for the uh, attendance, for example, we can see the students are engaged in the class when we are in, on campus, but uh, nearly 100% student attendance, which is a high percentage, can, we can see it online not on campus and this is for required more cooperative work team needs to be engaged and prepared to meet their groups during the class time for the RSD method so as we mentioned the discussion activities and disc critique were approaches that were easily completed through the zoom, zoom platform with the faculty that able to set a breakout rooms for individual teams for one-to-one -one meetings. These breakout rooms will encourage all students to have the ability to participate in the discussions and to have their voice heard. The faculty prepared the keynotes and posted them to the uh, course bullet forum as required. And this is like um, comparing between the traditional face-to-face -face design studio and online design studio from the specific factor which is the studio environment and we can see in the online design studio we need more and more activity to engage the students to the class 
and we need to have these breakout rooms which will help the student to express their project uh, presentations and get feedback one to one the fourth factor is evaluation and assessment methods the evaluation and assessment methods were the same on campus and online classes as students submitted all assignments as a pdf through the model courses uh, as usual faculty graded the assignments and provided marked up comments on the pdf as well within the rubric the usual course rubric was followed for the grading for the visual communication classes or courses some graded discussion in the online forum required research and narrative answers this is will be through the breakout uh, room in the zoom and this is will give the student enjoying the working in the group and they can uh, cooperate among the peers and also they can faculty can visit each breakout rooms for co for uh, coaching and reviewing the evaluation and the assessment for the technical courses such as CAD for example or Revit uh, we need to change some as well to accommodate the absence of the students professor face-to-face -face interactions and the need for consistent feedback as it used to take place in a physical classroom setting. All students need to have a newer version for the software that can communicate with the professors and this is will be uh, for their own uh, personal device owned by the students and some universities and colleges can offer this newer version for the student of the software to have um, good communications and cooperation during the class with the professors. The physical and physiological learning barriers. These changes will affect the triangulated partners of education industry, teachers, students, and as well as the admin, technical, and IT teams. All of them have the challenges of the virtual teaching of architectural studies. The post-secondary institution worldwide started to use the virtual learning, remote synchronous or asynchronous delivery as a applicable method to keep connections with the student in a social distance situation. But this will affect later will affect the students and the professors as well, especially for the variety of courses streams in the architecture, like studio based theoretical based, uh, technical and lab based courses. This new physical and physiological learning barriers never seen before the pandemic. Moreover, different between the research oriented and the studio based nature of architecture curriculum of universities and the hand on industry architecture programs offered by the colleges generated the types of the hybrid complicated learning barriers. These physiological symptoms not impacted the teachers student only but also the it's very important for their families results from the distance learning through the obligatory scheduled educational process unlike online teaching before the pandemic and this is like make an isolation optional process reflections and findings in the final class, students were asking questions about the RSD process, and the following represents the sum of the overall feedback about the new delivery methods. The student found that the classes seemed more organized than the on campus, especially for the discussions in the breakout rooms. In collaborative or the assignments, students feel the stronger connections with their partner through the RSD process versus in, in class as a student had to schedule regular Zoom meeting and connect together daily. However, students missed the on-campus environment and the community to meet up with the peers and did feel lonely at, at times. Also, the, this pandemic that affects the students' mental and physical health. And the limitation of the teaching hours can give the students to take more courses per day.
so they have different flexibility in their schedules now also the rsd added more family and personal time as there was no wasted travel time for the commuting to the campus and they have also allowed the flexibility of their time and again extra time from the commuting added more time for the personal co uh, commitments and also put their touch for the faculty and the student for their work one aspect should be noted through the RSD delivery motivated faculty for improvements and modifications of online as well as on-campus education delivery, delivery methods, which is the adaptation and support process where recalled be, between the faculty and the student as it shifted from the on-campus to the synchronous delivery uh, remote learning. We are still in this situation in the COVID-19, but most of the faculty and the students are working hard to move forward through this challenging time. That this required from them the new measurement and degrees of implementation to sustain both the quality and the integrity of the educational process. Here is the list of the reference we are using in these presentations. And this is not a limit. There is a lot of information we can find about these topics through this pandemic. Thank you so much for your listening. And I hope you can find some information about this situation for implementation about the, any design studios and architecture study. Thank you.